Hey, what's happening guys? So I want to cover how we can make our websites work offline by using service workers. So requests are going to come through and if the request doesn't work, then we're going to try and load the response via cache. I'm cool. yeah. So I have this basic website set up. All it is is a home page and about page and they both use this paper.css. We can run it by using PHP's built-in server. So you go PHP hyphen S and then localhost and the port you want to run it on. So I want to run it on port 8000. Then if we go to our website, we load it. This is our website. It's amazing. <laughs> home, about page. It's crazy. But now if I go and click offline and refresh it, boom, no more website. So I'm going to go back online here and I'm going to show how we can sort that out. So the first thing we do is we want to create a script tag and register a service worker. So I'm going to say script and here we're going to check if the client has service workers by going if navigator dot service worker. And if the client has service workers, we can go navigator dot service worker dot register and I'm going to put sw.js so we need to create sw.js i'm going to create a new file here sw.js and what we're going to do here is we're going to hook into three events the install event the activate event and the fetch event of the service worker and to do that we just go self dot add event listener and we need the event name so the first one is install that takes a callback where the first argument is the event and we can just write log sw install. Then we need to hook into the activate event. Just activate, activated. And lastly, we need to hook into the fetch event. Fetch and then fetched. Cool. So now if we go back to our web page and we go to application and we refresh we see that we have a service worker installed and it's running. So it's installed and activated. Yeah! Now let's start caching static assets. So the first thing I want to do here is make an array of our static assets. And in this case, we have our about.html. Let's put a forward slash here. We have our index.html and we have our paper.css. We want to pre-cache these in this installed event. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an asynchronous function here and I'm gonna call it pre-cache. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna open the cache in the browser by going await caches.open. But now we need to pass through a cache name. So let's go to the top of the file and create a cache name. I'm gonna call this static cache. So here we go and I'll just put the cache name in there. And once we have the cache, we can return cache at all and we'll pass through our static assets. And now we just need to call this in our install event. So here we can go event.wait until and pass through our pre-cache function. And what wait until does is it waits for this promise to finish executing. So we go here, look at cache storage. You can see we have static cache and now we've cached our about page, our index page and our paper.css. But if we still go to network, go offline and refresh the page, we're not quite there yet. So let's go back online and back to this file. So what we want to do here is in our fetch events, try fetch the assets from the server. If we don't get them, load them from cache. So I'm going to make a new function here, another async function. I'm going to call it fetch assets. And I'm going to pass through an event. We're going to make a try catch. What we want to do is we want to get the response from our fetch event. So we can go const response. And we need to fetch the event.request. And that will give us our response. And if we get it, then we can return it. So we can return the response. Otherwise, we need to see 
if we can actually return a response from cache. So we can go here, we can go const cache and we'll open our cache again. So we'll await, this also needs to have an await. We'll await caches dot open and we'll pass it our cache name. And then we'll return cache match and we wanna match this on the event request. So that should work. We just need to now in our fetch event, go event dot respond with and pass through this fetch assets function, uh, which also, which takes in our event. Save this. Now our website should work offline. So if I click here and go offline, oh, it doesn't. Okay, now it does. Our service worker wasn't installed yet. But check, now we're offline. Go here and we can use our web page. Yay! If we go back to VS Code, we can even turn the server off. So now it's not accepting requests. And cool, we have our working page. And if we go to application, we'll see all of our pages in static cache. If we delete the static cache and refresh, it won't work anymore. Let's start the server again. Refresh, cool. The one, the last thing I wanna show is how we can delete stale cache. And that's also really easy. Actually super easy, barely an inconvenience. So I'm gonna make an async function here, clean up cache. So what this function is gonna do is it's gonna get all of our cache keys from cache and loop over them. If the cache keys don't match our cache name, then we're gonna delete them. So first thing we're gonna do is get our keys from cache and that's it's caches.keys. Then we'll get our cache keys. Then we need to make a new variable here called keys to delete. And all we have to do is map over our cache keys and see if the key is not equal to our cache name, then we'll return caches.delete and we'll pass through the key. Then we can return promise.all keys to delete. And in our activate function, we can go event.wait until our cleanup cache. And it'll wait until all the cache is cleaned up. Then we won't have any more stale keys. So let's see that in action. Go to application. So refresh this. Cool. And we see all our static assets there. If I change this cache name to static cache 2 and save it and go back to our browser. We can refresh this. And then we see we have static cache two here, but it didn't delete our previous cache. And I think that's cause the service worker needs to, if we skip waiting here, yeah, okay. Then it deletes the cache. Obviously we don't want to click skip waiting all the time. So to get around that in our install event, we can say self.skip waiting. Save this and I'm gonna update this cache to cache three and save. And now if we refresh the page. You'll see we have cache three here and it deletes the second cache. We can do that again. Save this cache four. We can refresh the page. We'll get cache four here and this cache will be deleted. Awesome. And that's not everything there is to do with service workers. It's just an example of how you can use them to cache static assets and make your page work offline. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Cheers.